apply the brake even gently, it's not pulsing. It's just nice and smooth. The difference of HowToWrench.com and, and working with me personally is you're going to get the backstory. You're going to get all those little details of why it's it's not just really nice to do this, how it makes it work and function that much better uh, just by taking the extra little detail and craftsmanship in your work. All right, Steve, uh, I got your uh, new brakes on your car here and rotors and whatnot and uh, problems fixed. As Problem is video. fixed, nice and smooth, application of brake, no play, no pulsing. No wheel shaking. So how do you feel about the, the lessons? I, mean, I really highlighted some stuff on because you wanted to tackle this yourself. Yes. And you were debating. And I said, well, there's some safety issues. There's some things you really need to think about. Some safety things about keeping the clips in while you're removing the brake pad right. and scraping it down with a wire brush just to get all the uh, rust out, spraying it down with that brake cleaner mm -hmm. um, just to clean it up. The majority of those tips, too, those were tips recommended. Were yes. It was, we, we talked about how many people really do that. But unfortunately, there's a there's a real loss of craftsmanship in what you see people doing mechanical work. And kind of think when you've learned to do things like this yourself, how, how do you feel like your confidence of the product and the safety because there's no, nothing's unturned, you know, you feel exactly. like, I mean, exactly. how do you feel about that? I feel pretty confident that I could do it on my own. You know, one of the things that we didn't uh, film because we only did the left side of the vehicle, when we did the right side, it actually had a missing bolt that was broke off and snapped in there. So we took the time, drilled it out, tapped the threads, cleaned it up, and put it back to actual stock condition, the way it's designed. But now you have this, you know, vehicle that, you know, you got to see every nut and bolt of it so that you 100% know it's safe. Right. You know, there's no, you know, no there's question no about it. It's just a difference in craftsmanship. I really believe that if you can learn how to do your own repairs like this, it's just so beneficial to know that everything's right. But even if uh, you're not going to do the full repair, to know what to look for. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, we went ahead and checked the torque on all four wheels. And the other ones, it, yeah, I mean, most likely they're usually over torqued. We talked about that. But right. we did have one lug nut move. So we had one out of ten that wasn't torqued properly. It learned some skills, learn uh, things to check, to look at, uh, and to work safe, and to have some craftsmanship in what you do. So, it was fun working with you again, Steve. Absolutely. Me too. Love That's watching all. you. Great yeah. educator. Thank you. you better go enjoy your vehicle. Thank you. I will. Out of here. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.